Hey there, we're going to take you through a series of videos that will give you a general overview of Bistal 360 features. In this video, you will learn the fundamentals of the throttling analyzer. We built a throttling analyzer because analyzing throttling information in Bistal is quite laborious. It requires a lot of knowledge to understand which counters to collect, how to interpret the values of those counters, and also the fact that if you have any kind of problem, you can't go back in time to read the counters. And so what we are doing with Throttling Analyzer is we are constantly collecting all the throttling counters from Bistol and we plot them in a graphical way so that you can understand what's happening with your system. You will only have information in the Throttling Analyzer if we are able to collect the throttling information correctly and if your system is throttling. If no host is throttling, you won't see any data available. If I click on delivery throttling, you can see that. You can see no delivery throttling data has been generated for this environment. On the other side, if I go to publish throttling information, I have a few hosts that were throttling. The throttling analyzer helps us by allowing us to see which host is throttling and for which condition. We can see here that multiple hosts are throttling, actually four of them have information. And we can better understand which hosts have information by looking into the grid below, because here we will have a visual cue of which hosts and servers are having any kind of throttling information. If there is any problem collecting throttling data, you will see a warning signal in front of your host, and you can click to understand what's not executing correctly. In this case, this is a host instance that is not started, so the performance information, so the throttling data, will not be available. From this grid, we can also select which information is available in the graph above. We can choose to unselect all the hosts or select all the hosts. If we have multiple servers, we can also choose which server we want to analyze and which hosts. So I might choose to remove some hosts from the analysis. Now if we analyze one of these hosts and their throttling, we can see, for instance, that this host was throttling for database session throttling, then it stopped throttling and came back to throttling and started having thread count throttling, and then switched between database session and uh, thread count throttling. And you can better understand what's happening with this host by clicking in one of these throttling data points in the graph. When we click, we will see additional information about this particular throttling. We will see how many database sessions were contributing, when was this collected, and so you can correlate and understand why was database throttling happening. You can also go into thread count throttling and you can see the differences, so why was this host throttling? The idea is that for each throttling condition, we will show you the relevant information that is available as a performance counter in Bistal. If we look into another host, we can also see process memory throttling in this app one host. And we can see the process memory usage was above the process memory threshold, and that's why throttling was happening at this point in time. If a particular area of the graph becomes too complicated, we can actually zoom in so that we can better analyze it. So I'm going to zoom in on this more crowded area of the graph so that we have a better understanding. And we can see that actually two hosts are suffering from process memory throttling at the same time, and the points overlap each other. But if we click on one of these points, it will show you all the throttling conditions affecting each of the hosts that are shown in the graph. In this case, we can see two hosts are showing process memory throttling. Another capability of the throttling analyzer is that we can change the date range so that we are analyzing the period that we are interested in. For instance, I could switch to yesterday. And yesterday, I don't have any throttling data regarding published throttling. I could also choose the last seven days or even a custom date range. And this is all from Throttling Analyzer.